After mango and cashew festival, it's time for the jackfruit festival. The Festicast team is set to celebrate Ponsache Fest, a jackfruit festival at the Goa College of Pharmacy on 22nd June from 3 to 6 pm. This festival is inclusive and accessible and also aims to empower women by providing them with opportunities. Local women vendors are given platform to display and sell their delicious jackfruit dishes. The festival will feature various talks, workshops, music performances, different kinds of jackfruits, its dishes and many other exciting things. The festivals that are curated by Festival and Wildness Fatalities are perhaps the only events in Goa or perhaps in India which are inclusive and accessible. Where women empowerment is concerned, uh, the Thursday Heritage Market which was started by Mario Sir in Plain, there are local vendors, the women who uh, prepare the Goan delicacies and revive the old Goan uh, sweets or dishes. It is uh, displayed and sold locally. And today we have two of the women from the Pilar Market, Chef Maria Dias and Chef Vinita Simoish, who are here. I request all of you to please uh, come to the Ponsache Fest at Goa Pharmacy College on the 22nd of June which will be from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Be a part of the festival. Uh, we will have something called Balkanja Gozani in, in Goa. We need to share knowledge with the next generation. So our friend here, Miguel Braganza, will be having a Balkanja Gozani talking about the future food, which is going to be the jackfruit. The United Nations are already talking about it. That it has to be grown in, uh, you know, sub Sahara deserts in uh, in Africa and around the world. There will be talk by our dear friend who is with you, one of your friends, Nicole Suarez, about the festivals of Goa. We have so many of our own. You know, we need to talk about that. Uh, we will be having workshops, uh, workshops of pure. That we got pure here, made of jackfruit leaf pure. Patoyos all live, so we want people to come, whoever are there to join. We are going to have music, music, you know, no Goan Fest can be fully complete without music. Our friend Dr. Glenis Mendonza has volunteered to come and sing Cockney songs. We have so many young people who are differently able going to be coming to sing. Um, so this is our 84th Fest. We have done all sorts of fest now. They are not just fest for the sake of fest or fest for entertainment only. They are for empowering the local communities. And that includes women, especially women from marginalized communities from rural areas. For instance, when he held a fest in Pilarham, Matiyeche Fest, then from there culminated a wonderful weekly market, Thursday market, where local community people come with their food products, their agricultural products, various services, they come and sell and they earn. So earning livelihood, especially for women from lower strata of community economically, is part of this festival. And this aspect our Gwendolyn, Dr. Gwendolyn has been handling very efficiently for various festivals. For instance, here a lot of products made of jackfruit have been on display. These are done by these women. They have come here. They will be there for the festival and there will be stalls where such products will be there for sale. No longer you can buy a jackfruit for 10 and 15 rupees. So people are realizing the value of jackfruit. Jackfruit chips were first made in Canada. Mature jackfruit was exported there and they made chips there and ate. Now we are making them in Goa and rest of India. Jackfruit got it slightly immature, are put into salt, how you make chapnage thoughts, and that becomes your vegan chicken. You can make an alternative to pulled pork from there. Vegan Burger cutlet is made from jackfruit in Kerala and exported to Australia, New Zealand, UK and to USA where now more and more people are going vegan. So it is a very good 
meat alternative for a vegan, not just vegetarian, vegan who doesn't eat any animal product, not even honey, not eggs, not milk. For them, this has become a good food. Jackfruit seed can be converted into coffee, that's called japi, which is high in calories, good for children. Adults also can have, but it has got good calorie value. You can give them as a coffee alternative. Now health foods are banned, bone vita, boost, all these things cannot be called health foods. But jackfruit seed coffee, that's called japi, it's made in India, it's available and it's a very good alternative. We have a tradition of preserving jackfruit seeds and putting in our khatkate or into our ras during the monsoon time to provide us with vitamins and minerals. So this tradition is there. Normally they would take the seeds, coat them with a little bit of mud and keep them so that they don't dry up and shrivel. The potters, Kumbha, they will put it in their mud which they keep to make pots and gadpati. They will put the seeds in that they remain as good as newly extracted from the jackfruit. So keeping them in mud, especially wet mud is good or they can be coated with dry mud and kept. Jackfruit seed powder is gluten free. You can use it for various kinds of biscuits, cakes, rotis, parotas, which those who are now gluten intolerant, especially in the European countries and America, where they use lots of weedicide, which now needs to be banned also in India. The glyphosate causes gluten intolerance, and for them, they can't eat biscuits, cakes like we do, or eat chapati. So you have to have gluten free food and that is the jackfruit seed flour as good as maida but without gluten so it is a very good food 